the ultimate exterior Valkyrie cam guide. Hey, what's up guys? Irish Tail here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, what I think is the ultimate exterior Valkyrie cam guide. So basically the idea of this video is I'm going to try and showcase to you on every single map uh, at least one, if not more, external Valkyrie cams that I think are extremely useful uh, when it comes to playing each of the maps. So hopefully you guys are going to find this guide useful. If you find any of the spots uh, for the cameras either interesting, different, or at the very least useful to know, feel free to hit that like button. Obviously, if you know every single one of them, feel free to hit the dislike button, you know, because um, I'm obviously not teaching anything. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you learn at least one, if not more, Valkyrie cam spots. And without any further ado, let's jump straight into the maps. Alright guys, so we're going to be going through the uh, maps in order. So the first map up is House. Now on House, there are three major spots that I think are very useful for Valkyrie cams. The first one we're going to take a look at is on the east side. Now this one is fairly obvious. Hopefully you should know this one by now. And it's just here on this tower. Now generally speaking, you can put it pretty much anywhere on that tower and it's considered a fairly good camera spot. Now the reason for that is because when you use it, you can generally see the entire of the east side of the building. So if you're holding the garage, you've got an entire chance to look at the garage. You can also look obviously at the east kitchen, uh, dining room windows. You can see the bathroom windows. And generally speaking, this is a good map, uh, map like camera placement. The only issue with this camera placement is if you scan with it, the enemy team will find it out pretty quickly. Uh, because it's a fairly obvious spot, it's used quite regularly. The alternative you can do for this is to throw it down onto the car. The reason for that is because it's lower down, players don't tend to look for that. They will tend to look for this tower first. So if you're lucky, you can get onto the car and people won't spot it. And the next camera spot we're going to be taking a look at on house is over on the north side and can be reached from the workshop. Now this one is, again, it's a fairly uh, popular one and it's onto this tree just here. If I throw this camera... The camera goes just here under the tree. Now, obviously, a lot of you might think, well, this camera here, you can't actually see a lot. Well, the difference with this camera than the other one is that you can scan with this camera and spot enemies. So if there are enemies on this balcony pushing downstairs or holding the, uh, the west side of the house, when you hit scan, you can see them with this camera. So the bonus here is not only is it hidden by the trees, but it can also spot enemies just by scanning. Now, obviously, if you do it a little bit too much, they might get wise. But generally speaking, that is a really good spot to hold. The alternative to this one that a friend of mine started using was this spot just down here. If you throw it towards this wall, you can get a coverage of here and partially on the east side of the map. So it's not a bad little spot just in general when it comes to it. Now, the final spot on the camera is going to be on the southwest or south side depending on where you want your camera. Now, personally, when it comes to this, there are a few spots that you can try and hit that, like, kind of disagree, uh, people disagree on. One of the major spots is throwing it onto this house just here. A lot of people like to try and hit the, hit the building just here and have the camera sat on it. The reason for that is, obviously, it covers this south side window, and you can see a lot of it. But the thing is with that is that, again, it's a fairly obvious camera spot. Lots of people like to use it. Another one here is hitting this tree. But I found with the tree that it can be fairly inconsistent. Um, but generally speaking, I like to try and get them on the tree. The reason for that, again, is because with the tree, again, it's hidden. You can't particularly see very well with it, but you can scan. And obviously, if you look sort of just between the trees, you can actually make out this sort of the walkway just here. So if I scan here, you can see you can see me on the walk on the walkway. So again, it's one of those spots where you can see people. And if I press the scan button, you can see. Now, there is a slight variation on this spot that you can use. Uh, and a friend of mine, again, started doing this, and he's put his camera, he likes to put his camera on here, on this sort of pagoda. The issue here, though, is that you can't particularly see right against the the, um, the rafter here, but it does give you an angle over here to this uh, west side. The only issue is, again, it's fairly obvious if a player looks for it, they will be able to see it. So those are the three key external points that I like to use on house. Obviously, do please remember that you also want to split these up with internal and external cameras. I would never use all three of these spots on the map. I would only use them based on where I was height, where the objective was. So if we were in laundry, I'd make sure to use this front one over here. If we were, say, holding the uh, the living room and uh, the workshop, I'd probably place the front camera over here so I can get the, the view onto this side. And, you know, if we were in kids' bedroom, master bedroom, I would use this southwest camera because, again, it's it's contextual to where you're hiding. But without that, with that all being said, let's hop on to the next map. 
Alright guys, so now welcome to Oregon. Now on this map, again, similar to House, the, the camera spots that I tend to use uh, for external locations, uh, they tend to be all reachable from the top floor. Now the first camera spot we're going to take a look at is one that a lot of people don't tend to use, but the camera isn't very well hidden. Now this camera here, I suggest putting out on the north side. Now personally, I throw the camera just up here. Again, it's a really obvious spot, but the reason I put it there is because Generally speaking, it allows me a uh, good coverage of the entire location pretty much like as a whole. I can look at the southwest, I can look down on the west side, uh, I can look on the east side. Generally speaking, it's a good spot. Now, the only issue here is that if players are pushing from down this way, they tend to like to look up towards these windows. So what I find best is to try and get your camera as close to this rafter's edge as possible to try and hide it as much as possible. That way, people can't really see it as well. And the next camera I like to use, uh, again, access from the top end of the map, is just over here on the master bedroom side. Now, this camera spot is mainly for spotting out players that push on the south side. It's also for holding the laundry if you want to hold that. I like to put it just here on this light, light, light post. I have just completely balls that up and it wasn't high enough. But even still, you can see you get a general view down into the front door. You get a, a nice view here. So if the team are pushing the main entrance, there's going to be a little bit of a case of they can be seen here because... Again, I can sort of see it, and I can scan as well, because you can actually scan through this window just here. So generally speaking, that's quite a nice little spot. If you can hit this post perfectly, uh, I did throw it, cock it up a little bit. If you can hit that post perfectly, you get a lovely view straight into here, so you can see what the enemy team are actually getting up to, and get some good cameras callouts on their locations. And now, the final cam. Now, this one is one that's quite popular for a lot of people. And that is just over here, and they like to throw it out on the water tower. Now, obviously, this spot here is a little bit tricky, because you've got to remember, people like to spawn down here. They like to spawn sort of in those locations. So, generally speaking, what you want to be doing is opening this, prepping it immediately, and the moment you can, what you do is you hop out, aim as high as you can, jump back, and get in cover. Now, the reason for that is because, generally speaking, I, there you go, I missed that one. No, I just... Alright, and my final external camera spot for Oregon is actually one that a lot of players don't tend to use. This one uh, requires quite a little bit of prep and requires you to be as fast as possible. What you like to do, what you should do is come over to the office tower on the west side, especially if you're trying to hold the upstairs dormitories. You jump out here with your window prepped, you jump up, you aim it at this, uh, the satellite dish, you throw it and you get the view. Now the reason for this is because you get a nice view of the window. If you can hit slightly further left, unlike me where I potatoed it and uh, I managed to hit this, hit the light bulb, generally speaking you want to get it up here. It takes a little bit of practice generally speaking, but the reason for that is because from there you get a perfect viewpoint over on this dining hall roof. You can see players that might be trying to push this window, you get a really nice angle, and generally speaking you want the camera up there. Obviously I did potato it and put it down there, but of course, as you can see here, I can still see the majority of the right-hand side of that window. So again, it's quite easy to spot players that are pushing. And again, it's one of those spots that you have to be very quick on. Because once I've jumped out of this window, I'm going to have a couple of seconds before enemies start pushing around this corner. So generally speaking, you want to be out of your camera immediately, look up, throw it at that dish, and then straight back in again. There's, there's no time for mucking about, because if the spawn comes down there they're going to get you killed very, very quickly. I would then recommend once you've got the camera, just literally bolting off and going straight back towards the objective because they're going to know that somebody, generally speaking, is in the tower. All right, with those spots, let's move on to the next map. So, welcome to Hereford Base. Now, generally speaking, this map as a whole, in my opinion, only has really two good external camera points. Um, the first one is just on the west side, and that, generally speaking, is sort of this wall here. Now the reason I would always put, I like to put a camera out here, again I've kind of thrown that a bit low unfortunately, but generally speaking you want this end over here so you can get a good view of the west uh, west wall. If you're up in the room here for defending and storage you get a good view on the windows so you can see players. If you put it a little bit further over to the right maybe try and aim for that tree sometimes, again the spot generally speaking works really well because you get this nice coverage of the entire area. You can see players pushing up. You can also see the south side door. Um, generally speaking, this tree here, probably the better spot of the two. Um, you can put the one lower down 
Obviously, if you want to bait people out, maybe think there's only one camera. But this is a really nice spot as a whole because it covers a wide area of the map. The other bonus is if you put one on this tree, you can actually put another external uh, camera on, in, on the opposite side of the map to get pretty much a full coverage of the entire map. So what I like to do for this one is I come to this window, I'll rip it off normally, and I'll aim for that tree over there. Now again, if you don't hit the tree, not the end of the world, because generally speaking, you can still get good coverage no matter what you hit. Now here, again, if I'd, if I'd been aiming a little bit better, I would have hit the tree, but the spot here is still perfectly fine. It gives me good coverage of the north side, I can see the entire north side of the map, and also I can see the east side if players are pushing. So if somebody's pushing trench just down there, like right in the middle at the bottom of the screen, I can tell you. If somebody's pushing the stairs, again, I can tell you. The great thing about this location is it gives you full coverage of this side. And if you couple it with this camera, you've pretty much got an entire coverage of the entire map on the external sides. So these two cameras here can be very powerful if used for certain objectives. Again, I wouldn't use this camera here for basement hold. It just wouldn't be worth it. They're not really going to push from this angle. Uh, but this is always a good camera spot no matter where you are on the map because it gives you coverage pretty much from every push location that can be possible. So those are my two external camera spots on Hereford. I'm going to hop into the next map, which is clubhouse now when it comes to clubhouse i don't really have many external camera spots and they're all pretty much on the same side of the map so on the southwest side generally speaking uh, these cameras are all very contextual based on which objectives you're trying to hold so first of all let's imagine that you're trying to hold sort of up here cash room i don't know why you'd be holding cash room or um or the main bedroom over here now again generally speaking i would never I like put more than one camera out here but if i was holding this location the first camera i like to do is literally just here on this tree you can do it from any pretty much any location as long as you're looking straight at it you look at the tree you throw you're guaranteed to hit it pretty much every single time it's not massively obvious and again it gives you this good coverage of pretty much everything you need to see i can see bedroom i can see cash room i can see part of garage i can see anyone pushing so generally speaking it's a nice little spot to use uh, if you're holding the upper locations next we'll imagine that you're holding garage maybe you're down here for secure area the camera i would use over here is on this wall now this is fairly obvious don't get me wrong a lot of you guys will be saying well you can see this camera really really easily but you have to remember when it comes to holding garage the players are pretty much all of them looking at that at those two west facing garages they're going to be garage doors they're going to be looking that way they're going to be looking at these windows they're not going to be looking up here the bonus with this camera is that you can see really easily the entire area so all you'd need to do for this is literally just tear out this window here you'd look at the window and you'd throw it and as long as you hit anywhere on this wall preferably towards the corner as much as possible you get a good vantage point of being able to see pretty much everything you need to see on this side of the map again that's a really good spot for holding a lot of the locations now, another spot that a friend of mine tried to tell me was amazing was uh, just up here on this air vent what he used to tell me is what you need to do is you go into a cash room you wait for the match to start you jump out you look straight up you walk over you throw your camera and then you get you get it up on the vent now again i potato that throw um, because again it's not one of my particular spots but he always recommends apparently putting his camera up on that vent spot now the reason he recommends it is because he seems to think that the enemy team don't really notice it he says if it's on that vent you don't really see it so again let's try just getting it up there there we go anywhere on that vent he recommends is good if you can get it on the grates it's better but again it sort of gives you this gives you this coverage of the roof so you can sort of see pretty much anyone up here and it's, a, it's supposed to be a really good spot in his opinion Again, it's one of those things that's very high risk, high reward. You have to run out here, you have to run a little bit and then throw and try and get it on there. Now granted, a lot of players don't like to look up there. They don't tend to think that's a good spot for a camera. Um, but obviously that's a personal preference one. Again, I don't particularly use it, but my friend swears by it. So it's it's one to consider. Um, but right now we're going to move on to the next map uh, for the next external spots. And that map is is obviously presidential plane now generally speaking uh hopefully you should know this camera spot there's only really one external that you can do that is here you just look dead center of this and you throw your camera it's not a difficult spot sits on the rings and you can see players where they come from where they're going generally speaking i would never use this camera spot i don't really see much worth in it the only time i'd use this maybe is if you are hiding up here and you wanted to sort of make sure you weren't going to get dropped on 
but generally speaking it's not the best of external camera spots but it is the only real one that you want to be using on the map plane so now we're going to hop into the next map very quickly uh, and that map is consulate now again consulate has some really nice general external camera spots that can be used uh depending again very much on lo the location that you try and defend and the first camera spot that i like to use is here on the southeast side and it is this palm tree just here if you throw a camera just high enough and you hit the tree again here it's one of those spots where it gives you a really nice coverage you can look entirely along the south side of the building you can look entirely along the east side of the building and it's generally a really nice camera because it's covered by the trees players can't see you and if the enemy are pushing up this way you 100 percent know they're coming so you get these really nice angles across the entire map and the next camera spot i'm going to show you is all the way over here just through to the uh the service stairs for the meeting room sort of way we come over here to the waiting room now this camera here uh, I would use maybe if you don't want to put the camera over there, you want more coverage on this south side. Literally, it's just straight out the window. You just lob straight for the palm tree. Very, very obvious camera. And again, it just gives you this nice coverage. You can see the entire of the south side. You can see if people are repelling up. You can see if someone's pushing the front door. So generally speaking, it's a really nice camera. And again, it's pretty well hidden when it's not turned on. Obviously, when it is turned on, you're going to see it quite easily. But generally speaking, it's a really good spot. And now the final camera spots that I would use are over here on the west side. Now there are two spots you can use on the west side. The first camera spot is if you want to be right over here. You go to the door, you throw it, and you try and get your camera onto this palm tree here. Now I'm not going to throw it too high simply for the fact that I want to be able to use it again. But here you can sort of see you get a nice view of the front. You get a nice view of this west wall. You can see the garage. Now this is a good spot. It shows you people pushing the garage. It gives you good coverage. The only issue here is that there is a camera just here. That if players are shooting at, they're probably going to notice your camera. The alternate camera spot that uh, recently got used in Pro League that I saw that I like to use now is to go out these doors, go up here, and throw directly at that wall just there. Now, if you can get it a little bit higher, generally speaking, this is a really nice spot. You can see all the way down here, you can see the entire front of the garage that people might be pushing, and you can also see these windows if people start climbing up. Now, realistically, you'd want it closer to this little uh, crevasse again, so you, or cre crevasse, ledge rather. So again, you can sort of look down. But generally speaking, it's a really nice spot. Now, I can imagine a few of you guys maybe are saying, you know, why don't you put a camera over here on the north side? Generally speaking, north side pushes, you're not really that worried about uh, as a whole. If you're holding this, this objective as a whole, you're never, ever, ever going to be using uh, this objective. To, you're never really going to be holding visa office, and that's the only location that really has to worry about a north side push the other what the other locations worry about more south side west side pushes uh upstairs here re relies on an east side push but again that's covered by that palm tree over there so generally speaking you don't really need to worry about the north side of this map just as a whole so now we're going to hop into the next map and that is bank now on bank uh, i only really have two camera spots that i like to use on a regular basis the first one here is just on the north side now as a whole i will aim for anything out here really uh putting it on the top of this is quite nice putting it down there is quite nice but again the only reason i would ever use this camera spot as a whole is just so i can watch this north wall i can see if someone's trying to repel up i can see over here uh towards the sort of the uh the main the main entrance area and generally speaking any of these camera spots are good because you, all you want to be able to see is if someone is repelling up the north wall and again you'd only ever really use that if you're holding the ceo office anywhere else it's just a bit of a waste quite frankly and the next map camera spot I would be using is over here on the South Terrace side. Now, one of the great things about this camera spot is because this is such a, a prevalent spawn killing area, whenever you run out, run out here, people are normally expecting you just to go straight for the kills. So if you run out straight away, you move out as fast as you can, you lob the camera that way, and then you run back in, generally speaking, the players aren't 100% sure what you're doing. Now, if you make the run so you run a little bit further, obviously there you saw I didn't run very far, you would sort of run out all the way over here, and then run back. Now, the reason you're doing that, again, is to try and get a camera sort of here. You probably, again, want to be a little bit higher. But the whole point here is you're watching this side. Now, the only reason, again, that you'd ever place that camera... Thank you for the subscribe, you bastard. I <laughs> forgot to turn that off for this video. Oh, dear. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, generally speaking, uh, the only time you're ever going to use that camera is if you're over here defending just, you know, the open area. The reason you're doing that... It's because it gives you this view, uh, this easy view like range over here to the car park. You can see if people are pushing. 
Um, the alternative for this, obviously, is if you're going to take the camera, you might go over here. You might open this lower door here. Uh, again, it's you'll be very careful because it's a typical spawn point uh, for players. And you throw one straight at that car. Again, the reason being, you've, got, you've hit the car, so you can watch this window here. You can see if a player is pushing this east side window. You can see if they're lying down, maybe. Uh, maybe get a cheeky C4 out through the window. But generally speaking, that's it. I would never use that camera if I'm going to be holding anywhere in the vaults. I wouldn't particularly use that camera if I'm holding here in the archives. Again, the reason being is that they're not really a big worry to be pushing from that window. They're more likely to pushing from that door, and then there are much better internal cameras that you can be using. But with those external cameras out of the way, let's hop into the next map, which is Canal. Now, this map has an absolute shitload of external camera spots that you guys could be potentially using. Um, so I'm going to try and go through these uh, a little bit more generically without trying to throw my cameras out as often, simply because it's very difficult to show all of them specifically from the camera view without me like reloading every single time, coming back in. So the first camera spot is over here on the south side. Now, generally speaking, this is if you're in the maps office or if you're upstairs in the control room, server room, what have you. Generally speaking, I like to put a camera out just here on uh, this yellow section here. And the reason for that, again, is because it gives you this perfect view of this north side wall. You get a black uh, black bid repelling up. You can see he's on there. You get a player trying to push these windows up there. You can sort of see the east side a little bit, generally speaking. So it's a nice sort of coverance point uh, just for that kind of stuff. Next, we have... That's the... <laughs> I was about to say that's the fake window. That's the fake window. Um, <laughs> my brain. Uh, another good camera spot is just here on this crane. Now, again, the reason you're doing this is because it's slightly more elevated. And it gives you, again, this beautiful view of the east side. So you can see if players are coming up. You can sort of see the top end of uh, the, uh, the, the roof just over here. But again, this camera spot here, I wouldn't generally use on a regular basis. Just because it's not fantastic. It's only if they're ever pushing from this sort of east side windows a lot. And you want to be checking them. If the, but I would never do that on the first round with her. Simply because you don't know how the players might be playing that side of the map. Another good camera spot, uh, again, that a lot of players like to utilise. Is just sort of here on this wall. But a friend of mine uh, was playing this the other day. And he found that he actually like found a lot better spots to put the camera out. That cover on this sort of east side. The camera he found, he recommends what you do is you run out here. And you throw at this lamppost. Now this camera here on this lamppost is literally god tier this camera here covers the entire southeast side of this map you can see the east side you can see the south side you get everything for what is a little bit of risk coming out and making sure you hit that it is perfect it shows you everything you could possibly want to see from these two sides of the map again it's one of those ones uh, similar to earlier where you can cover a massive portion of the map just with one really good throw now we're going to imagine that you guys might be trying to hold the boat shed uh Something like that. We're going to pick up this camera here just for general uh, general purposes. So I can sort of demonstrate a couple of more locations. Now, another good camera spot is, generally speaking, just sort of in here. Now, this might sound really daft. This might sound like such an obvious spot. But actually, if you place one a camera here... Now, personally, I recommend it sort of being just... Like, if you can get it right, I would recommend going just here. Now, the reason I do that is because, again, it gives you this beautiful coverage of the boat shed if they're trying to push from there. It gives you a good angle on this east side so you can see if players are trying to push. And generally speaking, it's a really nice spot if you want to hold any of those sorts of areas. Now we're going to move over to the far side of the map. Again, like I said, this is one of the maps where there are so many external points that you could use. It's actually kind of a little bit ridiculous. Um, so here we are. We're on the, the, the front lawn. Now again, this is a location that obviously you're only ever really going to be defending uh, for certain for certain pushes. If they're in here for maybe the boat shed, you might want to put a camera out here. Or mainly if you're up here in this um, in the control rooms, just here, this is where you're going to be wanting a camera. So where I recommend this camera is, it's a really, really easy camera. Again, it's one that the enemy might spot if you're scanning on it really often or if you're on it permanently. But what I recommend doing is you come over here to the archive room, obviously here just off the Coast Guard office. And you pull out this barricade here. Again, because of the spawn down here, you've got to be fairly quick. You're looking for that stop sign just there and you're throwing towards it. Again, it doesn't matter if it lands low because you still get a good coverage. And you can see you can see the west windows. You can see if somebody's repelling on them, generally speaking. And of course, you can also see uh, this south side window as well, or south side wall as well. So it means you've got a good idea of if players might be trying to enter from here. 
Now, if it, 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 it sometimes, if you really are desperate to get a really good camera out here, you can obviously, like I said, try and hit it onto the stop sign. It, very much a more difficult throw, but it gives you a little bit more of a wider angle down on this west side. Uh, hitting that is a lot more difficult. I've rarely seen it ever done. I rarely ever hit that, so I don't, I don't normally bother. Um, another camera, again, very similar here, is if you're just on the, this, this front south door, go in, open up, throw a camera onto that tree. It's a really simple camera, but it gives you this nice coverage of the roof. You can see really easily. You can also see the south over for the other objective. Again, it's quite sneaky there. If you want to get a different view camera that they're not going to be looking for as much, it's a really nice spot. So generally speaking, those are the cameras that I would use. Um, Canal, as I said, is one of the more varied maps. There are so many other spots you could use on this map, and I could I could literally dedicate an entire video just to camera spots, external camera spots on this map, that I'm not going to go through them. But generally speaking, you get the idea. There is a lot of camera spots on this map, so variation is very key for this one, as it means you know, you're more likely to get your camera hidden for longer and get more intel out of it. So with that being said, let's move on to the next map, which is... Chalet. Now, Chalet is one of those maps, again, that has quite a few camera spots on it, and they're all more variations on sort of which location you're holding, where you want to be holding. So, the first one of the ones you can look at is here, just outside of the master bedroom. Now, generally speaking, you can have two different camera spots. You can have one on this tree, or one on this tree. Now, personally speaking, when it comes to this map, I would normally throw out a camera um, on the north side if I was holding upstairs. The reason for that is you open the door... You throw out your camera, you hit the tree, and you've got a nice camera on this tree. Again, here you can see you can see this north wall if someone starts to repel. You can sort of see down on the east side if someone's trying to go up on that side as well. And it gives you nice coverage just as a whole of this area, which again is, is a fairly often used push point for this objective. The next camera spot I like to use is one here in office. Now again, very very situational and you want to be aiming sort of for that lamp post uh it's very very easy to hit you just line up with it and you hit it again doesn't take much effort and it gives you here this great sort of angles for if somebody might be pushing upstairs you can see the rafters you can see the front door you can see the kitchen window generally speaking this opens up a lot of different angles that you can see and i like to use this for varied locations if it's kitchen trophy room this camera is a gold gold one because it spots out lots of different locations you can see upstairs um if it's basement, you can see if someone's making a east side push. Maybe you're hiding just down in the little side side section off of that door down there. Again, it's a very nice little spot. Maybe you're holding the uh, the bar. Again, you can see that front door, so you can see if players are trying to make a push. And generally speaking, it's a really really nice spot. Another and the final sort of external camera that I like to use regularly on this map is just here, and it's just this tree right here on the northeast side. I just throw it out. Generally speaking. It's a really nice camera. It gives you really nice view coverage of the uh, door, the main door over there. You can see this side over here. You can see if players are pushing. Uh, and generally speaking, it's a really nice camera spot just for spotting enemies and where they might be. Now, there did used to be a really favoured camera spot that was out here. You used to be able to do it where you throw a camera out. I can't remember which angle it was, but you'd hit the, the chimney that you can see just here. You would get your camera onto that and it would give you a really nice coverage of this same, similar sort of area looking down towards those main doors. Personally, I prefer this camera here simply because it's much easier, it's much more consistent and you can hit it more regularly. Now, I can imagine a few of you guys are saying, well, what about the south side? What about this side when people are pushing garage? Now, personally, I consider this camera spot to be an internal one, not an external one. I mean, you could nitpick and say if you throw it on there, it's external. But generally speaking, I like to keep this camera internally here on the window ledge. Um, and again, it's sort of a personal preference thing here. I, you put a camera up there, you can look down, you can see the garage. If you hit this eave here, you can look down and see that. But personally, I count that as an internal one. And this is a video mainly for external cameras. So if you'd like to see an internal guide, maybe let me know in the comments below. Maybe this video does quite well. I'll do an internal camera guide. Uh, similarly, like I've done an external one here. But with those cameras out of the way, let's move on to the next map, which is... Cafe Dodsoyetsky. Now, when it comes to this map, there are only a couple of camera spots that I personally use on a regular basis. The first one is located just here on the southwest side. You've probably seen this one used plenty of times, and that is literally just out here onto that building just over there. Anywhere on there is fine. Again, this is a fairly regular spot, so don't expect this camera to last very long. But it gives you, again, this perfect camera view. You can see the south side, you can see the west side, and generally speaking, you get a good idea of if people are pushing there. Again, though, it is a fairly obvious camera spot. It's used fairly regularly, so don't expect it to last 
ever so long. The other camera spot I like to use is just out here on the west side. Now, again, generally speaking, this is a personal preference one. I like this to be down here. I like it to be as far back as possible, solely because it means I can see when people are rappelling up to the top windows, and I can also sort of see down here. If you want, you can go down a floor. Hold over here, we'll imagine... I'll imagine I've just run it around inside. Again, what you can do is you can just throw... You hop out the window, you throw... And you try and hit further back. Again, I missed that one there, just because it's a very inconsistent spot, but it gives you a nicer view back here. You can see a little bit more. Alternatively, you could actually run out, throw out, and try and get it on that roof just there. Again, if you get it on the roof, either or the other, you get a nice little view. Let's imagine, fuck it, let's imagine it's just gone up there. Um, again, you get this nice view, and you can see that window if you really want, but again, you have to run out a little bit more. So it's a little bit more risky, um, but of course, with these cameras here, you can't particularly see um, the south side, which you have to remember is, is a fairly popular rappel point. The alternative is that um, you can do that I've seen certain players start doing is they'll come down here to the bakery entrance and they will just throw out a camera just there onto that roof like that. Again, reason being is that you get this sort of good coverance angle where you can see an entire side of it. An alternative camera that you can use that I, I don't personally use on any kind of regular basis is over on the east side. This is more for your run out players, you guys that like to dive out of your maps um, where you like to jump out and try and get kills. You can put a camera over here on the east side, and just generally speaking, thanks for not breaking door, um, generally speaking you'll put a camera up here on this wall, again they're fairly obvious, you can see them really easily, but you put that camera there, so if there's players out here on this section you can jump out of the windows, or run out the door and get some easy kills, uh, but again this camera spot here tends to be very noticeable, it's very regular for players to do it, so a lot of people are fairly expectant of it. So that's personally why I haven't included it as a direct camera throw, just to show you. Because you can imagine what it looks like. It's just from that wall, looking at this wall here. It's nothing particularly special. But again, if you like to run out, it's a good camera spot. Alright, so now we're going to move on to the next map, and that map is uh, a DLC map. So I'm actually going to cut the video here, uh, just quickly. The main reason I'm doing this is because it's already over 30 minutes long, and I don't want to be dragging this video out upwards of 50 minutes to an hour. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to cut the video here, stop with just the base maps, and we're going to come back with the final five uh, DLC maps in another video. Basically, if this video, say, hits, let's go for 50 likes, I will uh, launch the DLC map video for you guys, that can be another video uh, for you to check out. Um, because like I said, I don't want to be have you sat here for an hour watching this, I think half an hour is more than enough currently. Um, I do just want to point out something very quickly before I sign off here, and that is, when it comes to these kind of camera spots guys, you have to remember, you can't use them every single defending round. If you're playing as a Valkyrie character, make sure to change it up. If every single defending round you're placing the same cameras in the same spots, the enemy team, no matter how creative those cameras are, is going to twig on and find those camera spots. And then the issue is, is that, you know, they're going to be able to take them out a lot easier. So when it comes to camera spots, what I would recommend is, while yes, you can use these ones I've shown you here, you should always interlace your own camera spots into that as well. Just go around, practice, just throw them about, like in casual, just waste your time. Just throw your cameras out there and just see what happens. It's not the end of the world in casual, it's just a bit of practice and it's a good way to find out if a camera spot is good. Generally speaking, that's how I found most of these camera spots. I will just sit in a casual game and I will throw out cameras randomly at the start of a round and I'll go, hey, some of those are good, some of those are bad. So, um, yeah, with that, like I say, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Like I said, if we can get 50 likes on this, I will release the DLC maps videos. And if that one gets released and it does well, I will do internal camera spots for all of the maps as well, which will be probably a, a hell of a longer video because there's tons of stuff you can do there. Um, but yeah, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. We'll, maybe we'll get there if it comes to that. But like I said, 50 likes and I will release the DLC maps. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, just generally on its merits. Like I said, if you if you learn at least one new camera spot, I think that's worth a like at the very least. Um, obviously, if you knew every single one, 
feel free to dislike. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to hold that against you. And, you know, if you want, let me know in the comments below if you know some better external camera spots on the maps I've shown. Feel free to share that. Obviously, you know, maybe keep it under your belt, though, just so people don't know about it. But, you know, hopefully you guys learned something. Um, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. I make regular Siege and currently Player Unknown's Battlegrounds content, kind of branching out a little bit, doing some other stuff. Um, but it's all worth watching, if, especially if you like my personality, which hopefully you do. Um, but with all that being said, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.